Okay, so now we're going to do uh, an, another type definition that you need to know. So this was the first one we did. We're going to make a new one now. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this X to close out of that one. And then I'm going to say create new. Once again, I had it on web, most common. And then go over here to the right and type your name at the top. Oops, I'm out of all caps. And then name this one tracking. Once again, make sure your background is white. And say create. And then we have this document. I'm going to do control plus so I can zoom in a little bit. And once again, make sure that you have the panel character open. Go to window and make sure that character is open. You'll also need layers. So make sure both of those are checked. If they're not, make sure you click on them so that you can use those two panels, layers and character. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. We're going to get the text tool, and I'm going to click here, and it's going to give me some fake text. The text is the same size, color, and everything on the last document that I used. So we're going to type some new words and change those. So put um, for the def for the vocabulary word, make it all caps. So I'm going to put the word tracking, and then click this check mark at the very top to get out of the text typing mode. And then let's go over here to our character panel. You can leave the font as impact again. This time uh, we made the, the vocabulary word 125. Press enter. So you change the size right there. And then let's, tie, let's make it a different color this time. So click on color and just choose a new color and say OK. Then you can get the move tool and move it down and center it a little bit and then get your text tool again and we're going to type the next sentence so click over here on the left oops and type the sentence oh, first do turn the caps lock off for the uh, definition put tracking I know you can't see this but I'll show you how to make it smaller so let's check the check mark to get out of the typing mode and then we need to make this smaller obviously because it's way too big let's try 72 that's still too uh, big maybe 60 okay that looks good so then get the move tool and just kind of center your text in the window and notice how they're on different layers let's go to the tracking layer and move it down a little bit all right, so let's actually adjust the tracking on that word. Make sure that you're on the tracking layer. Get the text tool. Now, when we did the kerning, we just clicked in between one word. The tracking is going to be the space between all of those letters. All right, let me press the check mark to get out of there. And to do the tracking adjustment, go up here to your character panel, and where there's a VA with the arrow underneath it, that is set the tracking for the selected characters. If you get to this window and you're not sure which thing to edit, just if you hover your mouse over the little icon, it tells you what it is. So this is character. We want to make the character bigger. So go to 100. A positive number means bigger. See how it spaced the letters out more? If you go up here and you make it negative 100, it makes the letters really close together. I want you guys to leave it on 200 so that you have a lot of space between all those words. And get the move tool and just center it a little bit on your page then the last thing you need to do is type your name so get the text tool click on here and once again it's going to be the same uh, font and style that I used already but we're going to change that before we get out of here type your name click the check mark and then go up here to the tracking put it back on zero and obviously we can make this a lot smaller I'm going to put 36 and then get the move tool and move down here. All right, let's save now. So go to file, save, and it's going to automatically be a PSD, which is a Photoshop file with layers. And that is a file that I can edit. It will keep all these layers over here. So we're going to say save. But as always, you need to save a JPEG too. So go file, save as. Over here where it says format, choose the first JPEG and then say save. 
You can leave this on the default settings. This JPEG is the file. You need to upload both of these to Google Drive, but the JPEG is the file that you're going to put in your Google Slide portfolio to turn in for a grade and say, okay.